What's up guys to Igor in Russia Finnish edition finally arrived to the fort of Catherine Catherine fort and continue watching <laughs> Click subscribe, smash that uh, like button, comment and share the video. I hope you enjoy, let's go. So what's up guys and welcome to Igor in Russia, Finnish edition. We have arrived finally, finally to Kotka. This is a city which was a part of Russia before even the uh, 1809. We're standing now at the uh, Isopuisto, which was used to be called Konstantin's Park, Konstantin Puisto, which is one of the oldest places here in Kotka city. It was ordered to be built by the Empress Catherine the Great. So the story goes that in the, uh, in the late 18th century, 1790s, the Empress Catherine the Great ordered to fortify this, uh, the island of Kotka. Well, it's not actually an island, but yeah. In 1795, they laid the founding cornerstone uh, of this beautiful church by Konstantin Pavlovich, who was in inspecting actually the, uh, the fortifications of this uh, Kotka. So they built this church for uh, six years and it was uh, completed. Here it is. And it was completed in 1801 during the Crimean War in 1855 to uh, 1856. All of this place, all of this uh, part of uh, South Kotka was destroyed, totally destroyed, except this church. This is one of the few, uh, few buildings that was left, and that's because it's, it's orthodox. orthodox. As an orthodox, I'd say it's because it's holy, holy church. This church is called, was called in the honor of Saint Nikolai, Saint Nicholas, which is one of the important saints of uh, orthodoxy. <laughs> It's closed. So these are tombstones from the late 18th century. Beautiful gate. A memorial for M Maria Purpur Purpur, 1855. And it's located right in front of the church. The legend says that thanks to her convincing actions, she was able to save this church from the destruction during the Crimean War. It, this statue was erected in 1999 by Estonian designer Jutta Eskelin. All right, we found it. So we have found at the edge of the uh, Isopuisto, grand park, big park, found the uh, memorial statue actually, a statue of uh, A.S. Popov, who lived in 18, who lived in 1859 up until 1905. Popov was a renowned uh, physician who uh, worked with the radio transmitters and Finland's first sea rescue mission was uh, operated thanks to the radio transmission work that Popov did in 1900. The statue is from 1970. It's, uh, it's designed by Russian D.B. Ryabitsev. Yes, awesome. <laughs> walk for half an hour to our next destination which I will not reveal yet. The city of Kotka was originally a, a fortress city because they had a scaffolds here with the Swedes all the way from the beginning of the 18th century. Russians won this area over Swedes and uh, it became a fortress city. The border of the old Finland was nearby. The, uh, the river of Kumi was the border between uh, Russia and Sweden. 
Catherine decided to fortify the city. The majority of the people living in this fortress city were Russians and Orthodox. 5,000 were Russians and about a bit over 2,000 were Lutherans living in the area. After the war of Finland between Sweden and Russia, the empire of Russia won Finland as a whole. The importance of the fortresses built in the area were lost as Alexander I actually lowered the importance of these fortresses as the second class fortress. And gradually the merchants, the soldiers and others started to move to Helsinki, which became the capital city of Finland. For example, merchant Sinebrykov, Sinebrykov moved from Kotka to Helsinki and started his business empire there. And as if that wasn't enough, the, the Crimean War destroyed what was left of the city. It took years before Kotka became more important as, uh, as the area became very industrialized. Plan Kazarmy number 50. So here's the plan for, for the barrack number 50. It's a row of barracks to be located at the center of Kotka Island along the road. It was planned for the Ruotsin Salmi Sea Fortress. It is likely that only one of the barracks was built, Barrack 50. The two-story brick barrack was built according to the type drawings of the Russian army. Nowadays, the only thing remaining of the barrack is the stone foundation. And this area, wooden house area over there, is called Catherine. In the honor of Catherine the Great, actually uh, this whole neighborhood is called uh, Catherine. We are continuing on the uh, path of Catherine towards the fortress of uh, Ruotsin Salmi. Here you can see the gunpowder magazine 84. In the 1790s, the Russians built a military harbor along with its fortress community on Kotka Island. Seven gunpowder magazines were built to store gunpowder and ammunition. After the fortress lost its significance in the early 19th century, the fort along with its buildings were left unmaintained. Three buildings as well as the ruins of the fortification and some buildings have been preserved of the fortress. The walls of Gunpowder Magazine 84, which are over two meters thick, have been preserved. After Catherine neighborhood, we are now approaching to this awesome location I want to show you guys. at the edge of Fort Catherine. These are the walls of Fort Catherine. We have reached the end of Path of Catherine and it was worth it. Check this out. Whoa! This is super cool. city of Kotka, which was part of Russian Empire already from the 18th century. We have finally arrived to the fort of Catherine, Catherine Fort, uh, which was built in 1791. We are actually right now on top of it, on this place right here, used to be the fortress. Now only the ruins are left. It was part of the Catherine's plan to defend, to defend Kotka. This was actually the main fort of many forts on this in this area. All right, so moving on. Quite a 